it's not the best, but maybe I should just say it all worked out. <laughs> yes, it did. Look at you cracking jokes. Welcome to the EXO Mary Mac Show. I am your host, Mary Mac. You can follow me on all social media platforms, EXO Mary Mac. No C in my Mac. And we are inside of Street Capital. Shout out to Street Capital. We are in our gym. So if you didn't know, there's a gym inside of Street Capital. But I have a guest today. What's your name? Tell them who you are. Yo, it's your guy, Ty Graves. Uh, Bless Up, Grow Up Incorporated. Nice to be here today. Glad nice to be to here with you, Miss Mary Mack. Shout out to Miss Mary Mack, man. Hey. Dressed in half black. Half black. Exactly. Half black. Yeah. <laughs> I, was, I was hoping she was going to be in all black. Could have said the whole thing. Yeah, just half black. <laughs> we in half black. Dressed in half black. Black, black. You know, still goes. <laughs> No, honestly, I need, I didn't like, I don't like seeing this when I sit down. So mm. I was like, you know what, we're going to throw a hoodie on. Because that last one I did, I usually have like, with if I'm at the radio station, mm. then there's like, or not even at just the radio station, just if I'm in a podcast room, mm. then it's different. You can only see like this much of me. And I was like, whoa, I don't, I don't like that image. I'm putting it out there. Let's, let's do it over. Let's go. Let's go back to the drawing board. Not fair, not fair. So I wake up at, uh. About 5.20 in the morning now. Mm. And I hit the gym. I've got to. Shoot, I wake up at 5.20 in the morning and hit my job. <laughs> <laughs> hit my job. That's well, I mean, up. my body is part, my image is, is my job. So, I'm doing that. Like, um, I guess, let's say, Monday through Thursday, I'm going to bed about 9. Mm. And then I'm getting up about 2. Mm. And then, yeah. My morning sessions. <laughs> I don't have time. Like, people think I'm joking. Like, <laughs> my morning starts nine times out of ten. Anywhere from two to four. Mm. Yeah. So, when I'm up at 5.30, when I'm up when my alarm goes off, I've got a late start to my day. Uh, that's a late start for you. That's a late start for me. Oof. Yeah, because you got to think. So, I sell insurance. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. I do, I do do insurance. If you guys need some insurance, hit me up. I'm your girl right here. Right. Got you. Um, so I do do insurance. And then I am a full-time mom. I'm a single parent. Mm -hmm. So I drop off to school. I pick up from school. And then content creation. Mm -hmm. And I'm a cheer coach as well. So I cheer my daughter's um, team. So, well, I cheer her team and the other two. Coach that her team and the other two teams. So... I've got to get days inside of one day. But yo, shout out to you. Thank for you. For handling all that. I, and being a mom. Yeah, and it's only getting busier. Man. I mean, I don't have a choice but it, for it to get busier. If I want to grow, then it's going to get busier. Well, hey, keep growing. Keep so, doing your thing. Yeah. And I just worked out a sleep schedule. Because before, I didn't have one. I bet that was tough. <laughs> <laughs> Tough was an understatement. Like I'm talking about when I say I didn't have a sleep schedule, I wasn't getting sleep. Let's let's rephrase that all together. There was no sleep. I was getting home the time it was to take my daughter to school. Mm. So I wasn't getting sleep until maybe after I dropped her off at school. So yeah. So I used to work out every day right after I dropped her off from school. But then I was like, I can't do that anymore. And so then I kind of like gained some of my weight back. And I was like, no, we can't do that. Mm, you so I got to... Gotta figure it out. Well, at least, hey, you could always be here. <laughs> I could be. I could be. Don't do it. Don't no, do it. no, nothing to anybody because I like me a chunky man. I ain't gonna hold you. That everybody hey. knows Mary likes chunky guys. I I do. But for Shout me, out to all the girls who like the big guy. But yeah. for me, in my body, I need it to. I just need to get this. Like my thighs are fine. Mm. This, this got to go. Gotta hey, go. Yeah, shout out to all the girls who like big guys. Shout out to all my big dudes out here. We out here. Hey. <laughs> 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 well, we just, I've been talking. Me. It's been the Mary Mac show. I've given you a Mary Mac experience. Hey, now, I'm with it. <laughs> you tell them where to follow you, where, um, what you do, all that good stuff. All right, well, where to follow me? Uh, Instagram, you can follow me at B-U-G-U-T-Y-O. 
that's my new page. I started over to, you know, get uh, get more in tune with all my actual followers and things like that. Because you confused me. Yeah, I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to do that to you. <laughs> you know, my old page is uh, Call Me Skull. You can still follow that. But uh, I wanted to start over because, you know, um, just to, you know, actually get in touch with who are actually my real followers, who actually, you know, is going to, you know, pay attention to my music, pay attention to my content and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. And instead of like, you know, I've had my old page since I was in like high school. So it was like, you know, let me try to restart and stuff like that and get everything back to how I want it to be. But um, yeah, I'm a musician, uh, creator, all that good stuff. I do videography, uh, sometimes photography, if I can get my angles right, I can't get my angles right. But um, practice, practice, <laughs> you know. get them angles right. Shooters don't miss. I'm trying not to. I'm trying not to. Right now, I feel like Westbrook. But, you know, we're going to get there. But, but um, yeah, you know, I, I do music mostly. That's my main thing. Um, I just rebranded my music group from Notepad Collective to Bless Up, Grow Up, Incorporated, uh, which I felt like it was a new venture to go on to after, you know, I had a couple, you know, signs. I believe in, you know, signs and stuff like that, mm -hmm. uh, the angel numbers and stuff. And one of the angel numbers I saw one day was 555, and that's the one for change. Mm -hmm. And it's just like, you know, it was telling me it's time to change some shit up. Yeah. And, you know, and that's where I started getting the restart uh, idea from to, you know, restart some stuff and take my stuff into a new direction. So we just uh, dropped a cipher. Y'all go check that cipher out on YouTube. Uh, me, we'll have it in the description down below. In the below. description. On. But yeah, uh, me and some of my group members, uh, my conglomerate members and stuff like that, we did a cipher, which I think has bars that you all need to hear. And you got to hear too. I don't know. I, know. I, I, haven't, <laughs> I haven't seen it. I didn't even know about it. Yeah. You didn't even tell me. I'm terrible. Wait, even, look, this, look, this, this look, is another look. reason why I could have got content from that. Like, I dropped the ball. This is another reason I, why I started doing this stuff. In the first place. <laughs> I Literally, did. I did. I told you, Westbrook. <laughs> All right, so like that's the reason. That's one of the reasons why I started over with my um, my pages, so that way I can start doing more content and be able to keep up with my stuff the way I want to. Because I felt like you know I've been dropping the ball this time, and now that I know what I know that I need to do. It's time to put it to action. Yeah. You know what? Shout out to my best friend. He literally, like, no lie. This is no exaggeration. This is this is the God honest truth. Every day for a year. Mm. I'm not talking. I'm not lying. Every single day for a year, he was like, when are you going to start your YouTube? Oh, well, you know, I YouTube. You hear that? I YouTube. When are you going to start your YouTube? Like, he would always, like, literally every day. And then that following year, it wasn't quite every day, but it was like every two days, every three days. So, you know, you should start your YouTube. Mm -hmm. Now, look, my YouTube is thriving. Imagine if I would have started it a year ago. But, like, if he wasn't so consistent on, hey, start your YouTube. Mm -hmm. Hey, where are you going to start your YouTube? Because I had I was YouTubing before I started this because this uh, YouTube was originally Exo Mary Helen. Mm -hmm. And so that's my mom brand. So... He was asking me when I was going to start my mom brand blogging back. Um, and then it's funny because I relaunched that. I had a, a whole relaunching. I had a new website and everything. And a month later, I started Exo Mary Helen. Oh. I mean, Exo Mary Mac. And so now it's taking it's, off. Once again, shout out to you. All right. I'm big on giving flowers where they do. <laughs> you, you have been out here with Thank all these you. celebrities. Because I've been watching. You know, I watched the page. All right. <laughs> Been out here doing all this with all like out here at these shows, you know. I mean, I got to. If I, I was see doing, you. Somebody else gonna do it. Chill it out with Dave East. Shout out to oh, Dave that, East. Shout out all to right. Dave East. <laughs> shout out to Dave it East. He smelled so good. Still waiting on goddamn Wu Tang season three. <laughs> <laughs> waiting on it. All right. I love now, Dave East was super cool. Like he was funny. Like he literally had me laughing the whole night like he I, like i love when i can make great memories with people mm -hmm. i mean even if they're for like a one time like this is a night okay i mean some people like i end up recording them again and they remember me and then sometimes their managers remember me and they be like oh that's matt that's matt so i got like the tommy the tommy one um 
um, loving hip hop, mm -hmm. you could see her manager in the back like, yo, that's Mac, that's Mac, perform for Mac. And I was like, I love you, thank you. Shout like, out to all them people. Shout out shout to the managers. Out, shout out to all of my supporters. Shout like, out to all her supporters. I love y'all. Like, I want y'all to know that I like genuinely love everybody that watches, that likes, that comments, all of it that supports, that answers my questions. When I say, hey, I got one question, it turns to like 15. <laughs> I, I love y'all. I love everybody that invites me to the events just to get content. Like, I love y'all for asking to come on the show. Like, I love all of y'all. Like, y'all hey. are just a part of this just like I am. We're, and hey, as one of your supporters, we love you too. Thank we you. love you too. All right. I've been, like, we met, uh, I want to say it was like a couple months ago. Um, uh, at Low. No. Did we meet at Lowe's event? No, it was, um, I want to say it was, uh, what's his name? Uh, Smith and Lee. It was his oh, event. Oh, it was at Smith and Lee's event. His. You're right. Shout out to Lee. Shout you guys don't know who Lee is. Y'all need to tap in with Lee. One of the Lee dopest guys out here. But, uh, yes, we met at Lee's event, and Lo just happened to be there. And then the second time I seen you was at Lo's listening party. Well, shout out to Granddaddy Lo. On the Granddaddy Lo. the guy. Lo. On the Granddaddy Lo. On the Granddaddy Lo. But, yeah, you know, as soon as you was like, you know, hey, I do... X Y Z. I do yeah. in interviews, but and stuff you've been like that. tapped in since, like since Lee's event. Like you've been tapped in, like Very the whole time. Hey. I appreciate it. Every time I see you, was what's up, Miss Mary Mac? I mean, I try. <laughs> I try to be as, like because I struggle. Like I really struggle with like friendships and like communicating and stuff like that. Like I can communicate, like as far as you know, translating a a message from one point to another. But like as far as like building friendships and stuff like that, like that's not me. I'm more like. Let's get to the point mm -hmm. and let's move on. Okay, we can move on with our day. Like, I literally don't talk on the phone. Um, like, one of my friends doesn't like to text. Mm -hmm. And so, like, he's, like, the only one I talk to on the phone. Like, everybody else, if I'm talking to you on the phone, it's like, a, hey, can you talk real quick? Mm -hmm. And we might talk for, like, five or ten minutes, then we're getting off the phone. But that's really rare. My other best friend, we literally text. Like, that's our life. We text. Um, and we've always been, well, I guess when we were in high school, she used, we used to talk on the phone, but like now, like we're texting, Not big. we're texting, uh, we're texting good morning, we're texting good night. Like, I mean, we're texting, but yeah, cause it gets to that point where it's like, everything is more fast paced and texting is a faster thing to do than like actually sitting on the phone. It is. And it's more convenient, but at the same time, it's time consuming. True. It's very time consuming. It, texting could take. A, a big chunk of your day out. Especially if you write, because y'all know y'all females, y'all like to write them paragraphs and be having everything in one thing. You got to read the essay before you no, send no, no, your no, response no, back. No, 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 no. So I'm bad at, I will literally like make a new line so you can see, or I'll just send each thing separate. Or, uh -huh. now me and my best friend, shout out my best friend, we're, we're infamous for this. We'll send one text and then she might send another and then now that they got that reply, mm -hmm. we'll reply to that message and then reply to this message so you can have them all in messages. So, you know, it's a know, method to my madness. I know when y'all get to it, like, girl, let me tell you oh, no. that it's everything. Best believe <laughs> I will send you a message in 2.5 seconds. Let me tell you about yourself, okay? This is where you have you messed up. <laughs> no, I ain't playing with you. You gonna hear me. You gonna hear me. <laughs> you gonna hear me. Hashtag, you gonna hear me. <laughs> Hashtag, you gonna hear me. This is the name of this podcast. You gonna hear me. You gonna hear me. And then you gonna fear me. <laughs> now, now I want you to fear me. I want you to But fear no, me. I struggle I struggle with like um uh, person to person communication. Well more just with girls. Like I have a lot of guy friends. Mm -hmm. Um as far as like female friends, I probably have a good two. Okay. So like I've literally got to where I am now from guys. Like guys saying, Oh, I see your hustle, I see your grind, let me help you. Guys, I don't even know from Adam and Eve. And they just be like, oh, I like you. Let's, let's work. Now, some of them be like, I like you the other way. No. I'd be like, whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa. whoa it ain't whoa. no seeing her Mac. <laughs> it ain't no seeing her Mac. It ain't no seeing her and her Mac. <laughs> I don't. I would like to though. I would like to go on a date. 
I really would like to go on a date, but hey, y'all hit up Mary Mac. Don't do that. <laughs> they be in there already. I don't want it. I don't want it. I'm cool where I'm at. I'm cool where I'm at. If I happen to get a date where I'm at, then I'm cool. If not, I'll just secretly want my date. But until then, I don't want nobody new. Not for you. No. No, I think it's hard to, for what I do, to add new people. Because I've tried to add just like regular new people, but people don't really, they don't really care about you in this industry. They care about what comes with what, you. Exactly. And so like now, like people will say, I haven't talked to you in years. They don't like, they don't share, they don't comment. Oh, you should let me come out with you. That is my biggest pet peeve when people jump in my DMs and ask me to come out with me. Why? Why do you want to come out with me? Right. One, I'm working. Mm -hmm. Granted, it's a perk that I work in this industry, but I'm working. Mm -hmm. So, Because then all they're going to do is be sitting around looking like, okay, what am I supposed to do while she's over here doing this shit with the camera? <laughs> First and foremost. Second, why do you want to come? You don't want to come for me. You want to come to see the artist. Exactly. So you're using me, and I don't like feeling used. I don't either. So, yeah. So I stick to my, my core people. Even my core people don't come out with me. Like, and they're my support system. Like, they're absolutely like my diehard. Yay. They don't come out with me. Then that, yeah, I'm glad you said that because that, that's the exact stuff that I be going through. Like, I, um, you know, had a recent show. You know, I put it out there. You know, people was telling me, hey, put your stuff out in advance. You know, let me know when your show is. Send it to my, e my DM. You know, let me know where to get the ticket link and all that stuff. Did that. Only a couple people showed. But y'all support. <laughs> yeah, support. Having a, a support team is really, really key. So how are you doing with your support team? Like, do you have like a core fan base or like, is it like hit or miss right now? It's, it's really hit or miss right now. I'm not gonna lie to you. Like, um, you know, I, I dropped my latest project, King Harold, which is on all platforms, uh, the regular and the deluxe. But, um, you know, King Harold did really good. I put out a couple videos so far, you know, I'm still putting out some more stuff. We've taken a uh, break from, cause I was putting out albums like every year. So now I'm at the point where this album, you know, it means the world to me. It's a, you know, an album dedicated to my, my dad who passed in 2013. I remember you telling me that. So I'm taking this time for like, I'm taking from now until 2024 to, you know, push this album, get it where it needs to go and all that good stuff before I put out another project. So the, you know, the, the album did good coming out and stuff like that. We got a good bit of streams and, you know, everybody's like, yeah, no, yeah, this album is dope and stuff like that. But, you know, it's only, it's only the words. You never like, I put out, you know, I'm going to this event to do, you know, perform here and do my little bit of stuff. You know, you guys come out and see me. You ain't got shit to do. <laughs> you ain't got nothing to do. You be complaining about you got nothing to do when I give you something to do. Yeah. For me, it's more of a, I get better results from people I don't know. Exactly. From random people, like some of my biggest supporters, like literally when I said people will be like, yo, I see how you moving around the room. Mm -hmm. I got something for you. Like that's literally how it happens. Or somebody that I know will be like, you need to meet this person, this person, this person, this person. Now you go make your way around the room. I go and meet them and they say, well, who told you to come to me? And I say, X, Y, Z told me to come. Oh, that's such and such. He told me about you. And I'm like, oh, so you had already set me up. Because I'm super shy. Mm -hmm. Like, I think I told you that when we had first met, yeah, yeah. too. I was like, yeah, I don't like to. That's why I struggle with the, the people connection thing. Oh, I understand. Um, and so I'm like, well, y'all just trying to, they're trying to pretty much get me out of my comfort zone. But y'all already set me up. So I appreciate y'all for that. But, I mean, it still teaches me a lesson. Like, if we're not here and if you didn't have us, then you still have to do it. Mm -hmm. So, like, my support team is great. Like, from street capital to just individuals that I know. Like, I love my team. Like, I love my support system. I, I like, literally posted um, a post on Facebook saying, like, how I loved everybody. Like, because really people have shown love. Like, I really wouldn't be where I am today without strangers. Mm -hmm. 
So, yeah, I mean, granted, it's my hard work and me putting in, you know, the hours and the time, but the random people, like, y'all yeah. need to get out and network. I'm telling you. Like, it works. It really do. Like, I, um, you know, did a show in Charlotte recently, and the, the show was great, you know. I went up there, performed in front of a bunch of people I didn't know, and, you know, I'm singing one of my songs, and they in the crowd singing the song back to me. That had to be dope. Oh, bro, it's like, I'm not bro. <laughs> you know, I mean, that was I'm fine. I told you, all of, my, all, of my, all of my friends are guys, um, literally most of them, and they told me I was the 1% in the condom that didn't count. <laughs> so, yeah, they told me I was definitely one of the guys. So, bro, it's bro, it's bro. Hey. But, I mean, bro. hey, they literally, when me and my best friend answer, he'd be like, what up, G? I'd be like, what up, G? Like, <laughs> that's just what it is. It is, it is what it is. It is what it is at this point. It, I, I mean, I don't, I don't know any other way. So, yeah. Bro is bro. Remember that. Hashtag bro is bro. Bro is bro. But you know what? What was like those, one of those aha moments for me was when I was vlogging and I'll go up and I'll introduce myself to the celebrity and they say, Oh, well, I do know who you are. Wow. The first time that happened, I was like, Wait, me? You know who I am? And they were like, yeah, we know who you are. And I'm like, oh, okay, cool. Like, it took me aback because I'm like, I'm a little fish mm -hmm. in, in a big in the big sea. And you know me? Me. You sure me? And they're like, yes, you. And I'm like, okay. Yeah, that'd, be, that'd be the funny feeling. Like, that'd be the dope feeling. Like, um. I go to you know a couple different places, get ready to perform. You know, okay, so, um, who who are you? And like I'm Ty Gray. So, oh, sh I heard you, and I heard yeah. your music. And stuff. It's just it's, it really is a dope feeling. It's it's <laughs> it's a really good feeling. It makes you feel like oh, well, you know me, and you know good stuff about me. Like, exactly. Great. Like I'm a a one person show, so my name is everything to me. Mm -hmm. Like you mess with my name, we got problem. Problem. Problems, multiple. There is no C in her Mac. There's all right. Y'all make sure y'all get that right. There's no C in the Mac. Just M A K. No C in that Mac. M A K. So yes, it's a it's a problem for me because one, I feel like the people that support me get it, mm -hmm. but then the people that are jealous and don't see why I'm winning are like bent out of shape, and I'm like, why? You don't, you don't see, you see 1% of what I'm doing. That other 99% that's back there, mm -hmm. that, that work I'm putting in like we in this gym right now. Exactly. You're not seeing that and you jealous. If, if God gave you the work to put in, it wouldn't get done. Mm. God gave me the vision. So everybody ain't gonna wait, see wait, it wait, clear. Wait, 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 you gotta say that shit again. <laughs> hey, run, run that shit back, Mr. Selecta. <laughs> You gotta Everybody say that is not going to see the vision the way that God gave it to me. And I struggled with that for a long time. Like, why are they doing this? Like, I don't understand. Like, jealousy has always been, like, baffling to me. Mm -hmm. Like, because from, from young, I was taught that you don't know what somebody has to go through mm -hmm. to get where they are. And you might not be able to handle what they can handle. Exactly. My life. <laughs> baby, baby, you don't want these problems. <laughs> you, you don't want these problems. But for real though, like, it's like, why, why? I don't want what you got. Mm -hmm. I want what God has for me, not exactly. what God has for you. So why do you want what God has for me? Exactly. Like, this is silly. Like, go out and work and do your dream. Mm -hmm. Like, don't do my dream and don't take my dream away from me because I'm winning faster than you winning. Exactly. That's stupid to me. It's real stupid. That's real stupid. Like you can easily put in the work yourself instead of trying to. But at the same, at the same time, they can put in the same amount of work and go just as hard as me. But again, my favorite is my favorite. Mm -hmm. We can do the same exact thing the same exact way and get two different results. Exactly. So you do what what God put in your heart, not what He put in mine. Exactly. So I mean. Support systems and blocking, knowing how to block that out. Like, I'm a crybaby. No, I am. I cry. Like, I used to call my best friend crying. And a recent incident happened. It was really bad. People were just trying to play with my name. 
mm -hmm. was just trying to put in my name and I just couldn't. I just had to be like, well, let me take a step back. Let me figure out, okay, this is going to work for me this way. All right, I ain't got to do that now, so let me fall back. Exactly. My best friend was like, y'all, I'm proud of you. Ten months ago, you would have been on my line, balling. And I was like, you're right. I might would have. Mm -hmm. Not even might, I would have. Mm -hmm. I would have been crying my eyes out. Like, why are these people treating me like this? I didn't do this to them. Why are they talking about me? I'd have been hurt. He said, oh, you don't give no fucks. I said, no, I can't. I can't. I can't give that space in my head and continue to keep going. Exactly. Stupid. So I said, okay, if that's how y'all going to act, y'all keep that, and I'm going to be over here. Exactly. Exactly. No man, no that's, that's just what you got to do sometimes. Yeah. Like, it's been plenty of times I had to, like, take myself out of a situation and then go about, you know, the way I want to handle it a different way than what other people would do or they expect me to do. Facts. Because if I act how you want me to act, it's not going to go well. <laughs> I, I'm a strong believer that you got to do what's best for you because at the end of the day, everybody is doing what's best for them. Exactly. At your expense. They might not need to do it at your expense, but if I don't like peas and you want me to eat these peas, and if you don't get so many people to eat peas, you're going to get in trouble. You're going to try to force them peas down my throat because you're going to get in trouble. You're doing what you know to do. But I'm like, whoa, whoa, whoa. That ain't that ain't cool for me. Exactly. But that don't got nothing to do with me. That's a you thing. Mm -hmm. So people have to learn how to separate the two. Like he's doing what's best for him. And in turn, she's doing what's best for her. Exactly. And if what's best for each other doesn't mix, we got to cut ties, baby. We got to snip, snip, snip. So how do you plan on building, you know, a good a good support system? Um, the best thing I can do right now that I've, you know, found to be good for me is to reach out to these, you know, strangers, especially like when I go to a show, I'm like, hey, follow me here. And those people will actually go and follow, you know, now I'm giving them the content to be able to find me and, you know, hear me out with what I do. And then that, you know, in turn brings them into, you know, interaction and I'm giving back the interaction, you know, liking your pictures, commenting on your stuff, you know, messaging you like, hey, you know, I fuck what you what you got going on. Right. And stuff like that. But, you know, past things I've been doing, you know, just sitting around, you know, expecting everything to just come to you. It's, you know, it's not like that. Yeah. You're <laughs> not I, a magnet. You got to You got to get out there and work. You got to push it. Yeah. And I felt like I, I thought I was doing the most work that I needed to do. But, you know, recent events show me like you, you just got to do more. Yeah. When you feel like you're doing enough, you're really not. That's what I've learned. When you feel like you're doing enough, you need to do more. It's like go harder. And my goal was to get my, my YouTube monetized and I got it monetized and now I'm like, okay, now I need a new goal. Mm -hmm. So now I'm trying to get my Facebook monetized, my TikTok monetized, things like that. So it's like, cause that for a minute, like I was, I was like, I'm stagnant. I'm not doing anything. And mm -hmm. everybody else was like, oh my gosh, you're doing so good. You're doing so good. And in my mind, I'm like, no, I'm not. Like, I'm not doing enough. Cause on the back end, it was still. On, on what y'all see, it's movement. Mm -hmm. But the back end, yeah. ain't no motion on this back end. And that's a, that's a big thing, a big misconception to a lot of people who look in to what you're doing. Mm -hmm. They think you're just the bomb.com. When you can actually see what's going on yeah. behind the scenes it's and like stuff that like back that, office. it's like you just don't understand. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like you don't know what I'm going through to be able to do this stuff. Like uh, the album I just put out, making the album, I was going through shit. <laughs> like, and that's was, when you get the most stuff. Like, exactly. Somebody told me um, you don't get to the top by just walking up there. You know, I'm just up there. You're pushing a ball up the hill. Exactly. Once you stop pushing that ball, it falls right back down the hill. Then you got to start all over again. Exactly. So either you're going to keep pushing it up to make it to the top, or you're going to keep letting it drop back down. Right. And you're going to be back to square one. And exactly. It's like, but people don't see that. They just see a ball at the top of the hill. Right. They, they don't see you pushing like, it. That's yeah. it. <laughs> that's yeah. It. No, they, like, don't, they don't see you pushing it. Going through that, uh, making the album process, it was like, you know, dealing with stuff at home, dealing with work, dealing with all that good stuff. And, you know, uh, like I said, the album was dedicated to my father. And, you know, revisiting all of that yeah. emotion 
and stuff like that. It's like, you know, thinking about all, like everything that I talk about on the album is like true stories, thinking about back to those stories. And it's like remembering how I felt at those moments and then trying to put that into a, a new album, like yeah. taking my 2013 hurt and putting it into a 2022 album. Yeah, that's a <laughs> and lot. It's just like everybody. But it had to be therapeutic too at the same time. It was. It was kind of like, like you know releasing it. Because around that time, like I was going to the gym on the regular and you know getting doing my thing. I lost a little bit of weight and stuff like that, and was you know putting out well showing my friends all the good music and stuff like that. Everybody was liking it. I was feeling good about myself. And then after the album came out, it now it's like. Everything's cool. <laughs> I done backed off a little bit. Yeah. It's you still gotta keep that same momentum. It's like, okay, well I started here and for me I struggle. Like when people say, Oh my gosh, you're doing so well, like on the back end, I'm like, Oh, what are what are you measuring my doing so well by? Because I sure. I feel like I'm doing okay. Like i I'm around these people that have Fifty thousand dollars hanging out their pocket, mm -hmm. and I'm just like, oh, I don't, I don't have that at all. Period. Right. Um. Uh, so I definitely can't hang it out my pocket. I'm telling you. So, um, what are, what are you, what success are you measuring here? Because I'm, I'm not seeing what you guys are seeing. It's you know, sometimes I'm a little crazy. You know, it happens. I think we happens. all. Are. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, we all are. We are a little crazy. Speaking of crazy, we were talking about Kanye West. Um, again, I don't think he's crazy. I think he's really calculated. I think he planned everything, but it just went a little too far. Yeah. So, how you feel about it? Yeah, like I, you know, I feel like you know everything that he's done to this point is fucked up. <laughs> but it's like you know, a bad kid in the classroom. You don't want to be in the classroom. What you gonna do? You gonna act up so you can get out the classroom? Yeah, exactly. But he, he was in a corner, he was backed in, and so he got himself out that corner. Exactly. I mean, if, if everybody's in the same building, but the view you get is where you're looking out the window. Mm -hmm. So maybe Kanye looking out this back window like, all right, look, I'm free from this, 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 and this. Mm -hmm. I might have lost this over here, but I'm free from this so I can move how I need exactly. to move now. I built it once so I can build it again. And I hope... This is his mindset. If he's just doing this to do it, then no. But I've, that's I've, I haven't watched a lot, so I don't. I don't have everything. But I've seen interviews where he said nobody, everybody gets rich, mm -hmm. and nobody wants to fight back. Exactly. Once they get rich, they're trying to stay there. He said, "I don't. I don't care about this. Mm -hmm. It's pointless if I don't fight back. Like if I don't fight for what's right. I mean." He said a little bit of. He said too much. He said, he said a little bit too much. Too much. But, but I see why much. he's. I, I, I see why he same, said it to get out of there. But at the same time, I mean, if that's if that's the motive he pushing, then I get it. And that's the thing. If look, we we ain't inside that man's mind. Know. We don't know what he got going on. But if he's but let doing, that man drop a shoe tomorrow, I bet y'all gonna buy it. Gonna buy it. Because y'all was buying them ugly shoes too. Now, I, now I'm I'm here for a good Yeezy, but some of them things is ugly. You seen Moon Knight on Disney Plus? The no. skull creature. That's what the shoes look like. Now I gotta go and watch if it. If you've seen it, you know the skull. Yeah, wow. <laughs> that's what his shoes look like. No, and I will not. <laughs> nah, I I I don't own a pair. I want. The all black ones, but I guess now if I get them, they won't be easy. They'll just be Adidas, I guess. That's a good question. That's tough. What? Now they took this man, but they took this man's stuff out of Goodwill. Mm. You didn't know that? Why would y'all take this man's stuff out of the Goodwill? The Goodwill. That was a bad. And one. did you even know that he they sold Yeezy products inside of Marshalls and Ta and uh, TJ Maxx? I didn't. So where y'all taking it out? How come we didn't know about this stuff? What Marshalls and TJ Maxx was y'all was y'all at? How come we didn't know? We would like a little good discount too. We would be nice. Well, they would. <laughs> <laughs> Me, I'm good. You know, I got my little what I got. You know, you got you got your little uh, what's these called? Uh, bands. bands. On, you know, you got, got the bands. bands on, but they look like sneakers. Yeah, I was about to say you got my bands <laughs> on, but they look like sneakers. Yeah, hey, no, I want to make me a custom pair of bands. 
And you can do that. You can I know. Do that. And I'm, I'm, I, I gotta go back and make. No, I got. I want uh, X L Mary Mac on the back, on the heels, right? Like, Custom my heels. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna do it. Y'all watch. She gonna do it. Y'all watch. And there's no C in that Mac. But look, Vans, if y'all wanna be a sponsor of the X L Mary Mac show, sponsor. come on, baby. Yes. Speaking of sponsor, Street Capital is a sponsor of the XO Mary Mac show. No C in my Mac. There's no C. Tell them where they can follow you at one more time. Follow me, Instagram, at B-U-G-U-T-Y-O. Uh, my music is on all platforms. And my favorite thing to say, instead of telling y'all where to find me, Google me. Oh, Google, Google me. me. I've never told anybody music. to Google me. I've never even Googled myself. I probably should. You probably, it's, 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 it's like, you'll be surprised what you find in there. Like, I found some shit, like, it's like, oh, they put me up here when I was doing this show? What? <laughs> I might have to go and look, baby. I I'm might have to go and look. But yes, Google me, Ty Graves Music, and you'll find all my stuff. Find all my old stuff and my new stuff. And I promise you, you want to hear the new stuff. You want to hear the old stuff, too. It's pretty dope. Just go listen to my man's stuff. Just go check me out. Go but check my man's. We out here. Well, thank you guys for watching. Again, if you would like to be a sponsor, or you would like your music played, or you would like promo, you can hit my email, xomarymat, no C in my mat, no at gmail.com. You can follow me on all social platforms, xomarymat, no C in my mat. No C. And we thank you guys so much for watching, and we will see you next time. Peace.